right, you should have completed your prime and composite chart. All right, it can also be referred to as your hundreds chart since it does go from one to 100. To clarify, the little numbers that we have written are all factors of the larger numbers in their box. So that means you can multiply those smaller numbers in there to equal the larger number. So for example, on two, two times two equals two, right? If we looked at 25, zoom in on that, it's a five, we know five times five is 25. So these are all the factors, or most of them for some of these numbers. And um, we only went through 12. So there are some on here, um, there are factors for these numbers that we did not list, but we're mostly concerned through one through 12 in fifth grade. So if you were asked a question that said, list the factors for nine, you would look over here at nine, right? We would know three and nine are factors. And then there's a special number that's a factor of everything, and it's the number that you circled. So one, one is special, and that is it is, it is a factor of every single number, because you can always do one times itself to equal a number. So one times five is five. Okay. The yellow numbers are what we call prime numbers. Those are numbers where the only factors that they have are one, because one is a factor of everything, and then itself. So it's, for example, 53, the only two numbers you can multiply to get 53 are 1 and 53. That's it. Okay. All the other numbers that are not yellow, so have the little numbers in them, are composite numbers. And that just means they have more than one in themselves as a factor. Okay. Um, you also ended up finding multiples of numbers when you made this. So if every one of these that has a little 4, those numbers are multiples of four, okay, which means like four times one is four, four times two is eight, four times three is 12. So you're just, it's like you're skip counting by that digit. Okay, so if you were asked, asked a question, um, is 57 a multiple of three? You would look at 57 and you would say, well, yeah, there's a three in there. If I counted by threes, eventually I would land on 57. Okay, let's do another one of that because it gets a little confusing. Um, if you looked at 77 and you had a question that said, is 11, is 77 a multiple of 11? You could look at 77. We would see that there's an 11 in there. So we would say yes. Okay. It kind of goes backwards too. We could also say that 11 is a factor of 77. So they kind of tie into each other. All right, so this chart's going to be really handy throughout the year. Um, be sure to keep it somewhere safe, right? Because um, it'll be really helpful also when you go into fractions. Okay, all right, good job fifth grade and keep up your great work.